Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so tonight I have a bath bomb in my hand shaped like an anatomically correct human heart. So it's really, really cool for Halloween. I absolutely love it. This one is from the Mad Bombers and it's scented in black cherry. It's called Bless Your Heart. And the Mad Bombers has my absolute favorite cherry scent that there is. I usually get the, um, it used to be Second Face and then she changed it to Regina George and she changed the color and it was watermelon and cherry. And this one just is straight up black cherry, but this is just my absolute favorite cherry scent of all time. It, this is huge. It's a huge bath bomb. It's really heavy. It's it's gorgeous. It's got just several different colors in the bomb. I think it's going to be awesome in the water and that silver shimmer on top just to kind of make the details pop. I just think it's going to be awesome. I have seen a couple demos of this and um, a bunch of pictures on Instagram, so I think it's going to be awesome. I also think it's awesome. Um, right in front of my skeleton's chest. I think that's cool too. So anyway, let's go ahead and get it in the water and um, see what it looks like. I will um, be picking it up a couple of times to take a couple pictures too. And since it's so heavy, I don't know if it's gonna float. So I may have to hold it, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and get it in. I am expecting this water to be super red and super dark. No, there's no way that's gonna float. But I bet it'll look really cool when I pick it up. so good I guess I'm kind of holding it I guess I should hold it kind of more vertically I guess that's really the way it's supposed to go yeah that's better So these are on her site. She's pretty good, I think. It um, like all her stuff is usually kind of stocked. Oh, that's I love that. Like kind of it's like gory, like foam. Um, the oh, I can't. What's the name of it? Um, the teeth that I had. The oh, say cheese. A long time ago it was one of my first demos. It looked like that, and I um, I said it looked like um. Carnage. I don't remember how I described it, but the foam was pretty creepy. I've had several of these um, from the Mad Bombers that they don't float, but um, I think they're just typically heavier and just packed really tight. But um, everything else about them, the the color and the artistry and the scent and the the moisture, it just that's like the one thing that you know. If it's just that one thing, it just does not matter to me. Cause everything else just is just spot on. Try to, I can't let this go to pan out, so kind of try and show you a little more of the tub while I'm holding this. I don't know how this looks to y'all, but it's pretty cool to me. 
I feel like I'm just kind of dunking my hand and I don't know, it's pretty gory, I guess. It's pretty fun to do. I don't know that you guys are really getting the full effect, but and it smells really good. I love cherry. I love I love sour cherry, black cherry. And the color of this water is turning really, really um I don't know, it's just awesome. I love like a dark red water. And that's what color the um the second face, the red lips used to turn. That is really, really pretty bath art. I don't mean to be shaking, I'm sorry. Let me get a little closer, see if I can at least do that. That's pretty cool. That is some cool foam. My light seems to be a little dimmer in here tonight too. I don't know why it's different every night. It shouldn't be, but sometimes it is. This is a big bomb, and it's not, it's like one of the pricier bombs too, but like I just said, it's big. Oh, I think one of the little, I don't know, valves, whatever these are called, just came off. Um, but I think she's got like a little sale going on right now. I think it's usually $13, and I think it's like 11 something right now. And you know what? You could just, you could split this one in half. It's, it's that big. But I don't know if I already said this or not. Um, now, I don't typically get a lot from the Mad Bombers because um, she doesn't have a lot of like straight up fruity scents. But like I said, this one that she does have, I, I love. Sorry, I feel like this is taking forever. Let's pop that little part off. Well, let's look at it up close a little bit. Look at something different. That that pretty much, you know what? That's pretty gross. That looks like it looks like an organ for sure. I mean, that color is just God. It's real. It's pretty. That's pretty gross. I mean, <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, it is what it is supposed to be. So I mean, that's that's cool. Too bad I broke the little valves off. That's, I don't know, it's a little disturbing. <laughs> but cool at the same time. I mean, you know, it is Halloween. No, the color is awesome. It's perfect. Okay, well, I'm just going to let this um, kind of do its thing for a while, and then we'll check out the final watercolor. I think that you get it. And we'll um, look at the rest of the, um, the end result of the foam, too. So I'll be right back. How cool is that watercolor? Oh, my God. That's so freaking cool. Okay. It is, no joke, 
blood red crimson it's absolutely gorgeous it's got um it's got that silver um like shimmer on the top i think from where it was painted but um i don't know that there was any in the balm but oh my gosh this is gorgeous and i'm going to turn my lights down and it's going to look even darker than that i'll let you know if there was any shimmer on my skin but i don't know that there was any in the balm but it's so cool looking um yeah, and I played with it a little bit. There's probably some on my hand because I played with it to try and take some Instagram pictures um, before I came back here. So hopefully I'll get a couple of good ones of those that I can post. But anyway, let's go ahead and check out the bubbles. They're super pink. Oh my God, they look like cotton candy. Oh my God, they look like cotton candy and they smell like cherry. Oh my God, y'all, this is so awesome. Oh, it's so awesome. So if you don't have jets in your tub, I guarantee that if you agitate your water, oh look, look when I pick it up, it just, it looks more pink underneath. Um, I guarantee that you can agitate your water and you will get some bubbles with this bath bomb. I guarantee it. And I'm telling you, it's big enough for two baths. Easy. Beautiful. This is beautiful. Look, you can see the watercolor underneath, too. It's awesome. Okay, I cannot wait to get in here. And I have some awesome body butter. My favorite cherry from another company. Body butter that I'm going to use um, afterwards. So it's just going to be cherry all the way around. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so I will let you guys know how it was when I get out. See you in a minute. All right, so I'm finally out of the tub with my Bless Your Heart bath, and it was really awesome. This is just definitely going to be a repurchase for me. There's just a little bit of shimmer and a tiny bit of pigment in the bottom of the bath, but that is just going to rinse out. That's really not a big deal. So obviously, the color was just absolutely amazing, but honestly, for me, the scent was the highlight of this bath. There's just, I've just not had a cherry like this. It's just my absolute favorite. Um, this bath was also was highly, highly moisturizing. I don't need a lotion or a body butter, but I do have a dark cherry, a black cherry body butter that I adore, so I'm still going to go ahead and use that because it's just the perfect opportunity to um, match it with this bath bomb and use it tonight, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, these are in her shop right now, so I'm going to list all of her links below so you can check out her shop. She's on Etsy. And I really, I think that's it. Oh, there wasn't any shimmer on my skin. There is just a little bit left down in the bottom of the tub, but I think that's just from what was on the top of the bath bomb for kind of the, um, just the accent shimmer on the top. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this demo. It was a little different because I had to hold the thing the whole time, but it was just so heavy. And I think also that was probably, um, because it was so moisturizing, that was probably just the ingredients in the balm also that made it so heavy and um, didn't really want to float, but it, I just wouldn't change anything about it. It was just perfect for me. So anyway, I will just see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. See you next time. Bye-bye.